Hey guys, it's the girl Kiba right here in Kiba Space. It's the end of 2020. Could you believe that? Yes, and almost all month long we've been doing everything Christmas. But today, we're going to get ready for the end of 2020. Yes, and I'm not superstitious, but there's a lot of people that are superstitious. And if you're superstitious, yeah, you're cooking black eyed peas. Mm -hmm. So, I have a good bit of things that I have prepped up. So we're making our black eyed peas, peas and rice. Yep. Um, don't worry about the peas and rice. My grandmother didn't like black eyed peas. She said, hey, them eyes just be watching me. I know a lot of people didn't like it. But yeah, we never used to cook it in our house because we didn't like it. Grow up, get a little bit older, and yeah, people superstitious. You want prosperity, you want black eyed peas. So there's a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need half pound of black eyed peas. Um, you're going to need two cups of rice. You're going to need two bay leaves. You know how I love bay leaf. Yeah, about four cloves of grated garlic, about a half small chopped onion, um, a cup of carrots. Carrots is just for color. You can do it with or without carrots. You know, I don't do nothing with pepper, without pepper. Uh, thyme and coconut milk. So today, I have my coconut milk up. Yeah, you know, I don't stick to no particular brand, but today I'm using grease in a pack, put a little bit of water. I'm also using a little bit of cream, um, corn peel cream, sorry, coconut. Um, I chopped that. Yep, so let's get started. Let's get prepped up. We'll be right back. So I got my pot on heated up. I'm gonna use a little bit of coconut oil today. Um, yeah, it's kind of cold. This is New York, guys. I like to tell people that, um, because you know, they think of sitting in the West Indies with everything to my leisure. It's a nice walk to get everything started up. So, I'm gonna hot some coconut oil, then I'm gonna sweat some onions and garlic. You do not want to burn those things. You just want to sweat them. Burst my um, black eyed peas overnight. And this is half pound. Half pound can make it. Um, you want all that liquid. This is what's going to make your rice really, really nice. Um, so this is a black eyed peas uh, cook of rice. And you want the coconut in there like I said I use grease grease comes in a powder form and I add water and I like extra I like my stuff you know to taste the coconut so sometimes I add some because you know I add some extra stuff in there the carrot that is a cup of carrots the carrots is just for color you don't have to but you can and you want the bay leaf bay leaf is all about flavor so I'm big on flavors and um, we're gonna let that come to a boil and then we're gonna add some more things to it so we want that to come to a nice boil all right, so I can hear a piece boiling away. Yeah, I ain't trying to take a blend here. Whoops, see what's under the hood. All right, so peas, coconut milk smells yum yum. Um, so I have two cups of rice uh, here. I'm not gonna add any more water to that because two cups of rice is not a lot of, um, it's not a lot of rice. Um, yeah, it's just me. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of salt and that's gonna be it with me and the salt. Yeah, the king of the kitchen, I tell them here, yeah, whoo, it could cause some stress. So yeah, you want a tablespoon of salt, you want some fresh ground pepper. Just getting to find out that my niece don't like any kind of pepper at all. Yeah, she was born here. And her mother didn't introduce her to any pepper, so here's what. Auntie, it hot. Not really, yeah. But guys, so I guess it's all grease today. Look, 
Um, I have a little bit of brown in. I mean, the rice is white. The coconut milk is white. Even the peas is white. So I like to give a little bit of color. So I use a little brown in to change up things. You know how we feel about, about um, eating white food. Yes. No pun on. No pun intended. Alright, and I like thyme because thyme is flavor for these. So yeah. I like a few, a couple sprigs of thyme. And I like a nice scotch bonnet pepper. Nothing happens in my kitchen without scotch bonnet pepper. So yeah, so now that everything is boiling and everything has flavor, guys, you can taste it. Mm -hmm. And you know, retreating don't make nothing without ketchup. So, just in in line with all that we do, a little tablespoon of ketchup, and it's gonna be a really nice peas and rice. Yep, I see right back here. In about 15 minutes hey don't forget to load on your stove all the way down to about three so that it can simmer and cook okay all right so we're back in like, it's like 20 minutes let's see what's going on under the hood Ooh. it's not done yet mm, there was a pepper let's put him on the side These pots is do some sticking business. And blow it down just a little further and let the rice cook. Alright? And then we'll come back. Okay, so let's see what's going on under the hood. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Getting close, guys. Getting close. Getting close. Oh, that is so nice. I'm gonna pan this up, and we're gonna see what it tastes like. All right. All right. So there you have it, guys. This is black eyed peas cocoa. Mm -hmm. Black eyed peas and rice. Just a little carrots for a little color, a little garnish, and boom. Be ready for the holiest night party, holiest night fellowship, whatever you want to call it. If you live through 2020, if you're up, you're watching this video, you should hit like, you should share, and you should be subscribing. You shouldn't just be watching. For those of you who's been supporting me throughout 2020, when I just started this, this is a new thing to me. The fact is, I was able to do something new in the crisis. Guys, you got a chance to live, a chance to live out the end of 2020. You owe God a lot and if you're not putting God in your 2020 you should put him in your 2021 guys thank you for joining me right here like subscribe see you in 2021 if God is good and he is good he's good all the time thank him and thank him for having you right here right here in keep a space see you next time <laughs>